not only did two tables walk out, they walked out at the same time, and also, they were the only two tables in the restaurant. Yeah, yeah, that was great fun. And guess who was the only waiter working out front then? <laughs> you guessed it. <laughs> you guessed it very well. Okay, so let's start the scenario. Just seated one table upstairs, they seem very polite. They're the only people in the entire restaurant. This is like back in winter when no one came to the restaurant because it was a bit of a pants restaurant, basically. Yeah. So I tapped them down, they had starters, I can't remember what they had. And then they had their mains. One of them had mussels and clams, or maybe just mussels, big bowl of mussels and a creamy sauce. The other had a swordfish steak with like green beans and new potatoes or something like that. Whilst that was happening, I sat down another table of four. Great, okay, uh, gave them wine, and now I went to go and see if the first table was okay. He asked me if, he asked me if the swordfish had been frozen and then defrosted. And this is a fish restaurant, nothing should be frozen. And yeah, the swordfish was frozen. And where I'm from, you can't even get swordfish local anyway. So yeah, he yeah he wasn't too happy. And then the other table that sat down, this new table of four, they understood that they weren't very happy. And they were sort of a bit, hmm, I don't know. They even said that to me. Yeah, we did like the look of this, but those two people over there weren't very complimentary. Oh, they don't seem very happy. Hmm. So what they did was they said, we'll go for the starters, just see what the starters are like, and then we'll decide if we want our mains. So, okay, this is not gonna go very well. I'm the only one out front. The chef in the kitchen, who was a young lad, he very very good. It was no, nothing wasn't his fault. It was the boss's fault for bringing in bad produce. Yeah. The original two, they didn't want to finish their food because the lady didn't like her mussels and the man just didn't like a swordfish. It was just frozen. They said, no, we don't want to eat this anymore, blah 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 blah. We'll only pay for the wine they had. So okay, great, here we go again. At the same time, I brought the starters out for the next table of four. And now they looked at it and went, no, I'm sorry, no, I'm so sorry. You, you seem very nice, but no. Great. So I've got the only two tables in the restaurant, and they're walking out at the same time. But they seem very polite. Both the tables are very polite to me. They even tipped. They even tipped. They felt bad for me and the chef in the kitchen. I don't think they saw the, the chef, but I was the only one just standing there like, yeah, sorry, yeah. They were being polite, so they could have easily been grumpy, miserable, and taken it all out on me, like most customers, yeah. And that's not the worst part. Someone from each of the table both left a really bad review on TripAdvisor. Yeah, TripAdvisor again. <laughs> I was gonna put this in the last video about TripAdvisor, but the video went on a bit too long. So I thought it's a separate video, because why not, yeah? And I actually quite like these reviews. You'll find out why in a minute. I'm gonna read it in my weird voice. I think you, someone said that they like my weird voices. So although these people are very reasonable, I'm just gonna read it in the weird voice anyway. So, yeah. Rubbery muscles bounced back. After reading some pretty poor reviews on TripAdvisor, I was somewhat hesitant to give this uh, <clears throat> restaurant a try, but a friend suggested we meet there for lunch. The restaurant decor suits the name and was pleasantly decorated with a fishing theme. We were the only diners there and were shown to an upstairs area by our pleasant server. Pleasant server? Pleasant server. Can you, do you hear that? Pleasant, pleasant server. Yeah, that was me. I was, the, I was the only waiter out front. Pleasant server. I'm not gonna go through the whole lot because it just describes what the whole meal was like. It wasn't really unreasonable at all, but I thought I'd just read that bit where he said pleasant server. Huh? See? Bad restaurant, you know, but, you know, there's me. Yeah. Then somebody from the other table who walked out at the same time wrote this. Oh, if you love seafood, avoid. I booked this restaurant on a recent blah 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 blah. The waiter was a nice chap, which is my only positive of this experience. And again, great waiter. The only <laughs> I was actually really happy when they put those reviews because the restaurant's a bad. It was a bad restaurant. It's not there anymore. It's closed down. The, the waiter. The waiter was a nice. The waiter was a nice chap. It, oh, it's great. It's like. And the, I was the only thing that kept that restaurant floating, just as, no, it still, it still went downhill. But I was like the only good thing about the restaurant, it, it was so cool, it was brilliant. Like, two really bad reviews, but they said something nice about me. It's like, oh, it's cool. <laughs> 
when I next go for an interview, I'm going to show them those reviews. I'm going to say, look. So, why do you think I should employ you? Let me tell you, Mr. Bossman, here's the reason why you should employ me. I am the best waiter you'll ever find around here. I'm polite, handsome, well spoken. I will make your restaurant great again. I will build a wall around your restaurant and only let people eat here legally. I am the best. I take this job seriously. Even when I come here hungover, I will come in on time and do the job properly. Employ me. Or something like that, yeah. You're hired. Yay! So yeah, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, then give it a like, smack that like button. S just s I want your screen broken because you smacked it so hard. The like button, okay? Now give it, give it a like and let me know what you think. So, see you soon.